Yo, 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 what's good, everybody watching and listening? For those of you who don't know who I am, I'm Amari. I'm Darren. And I'm Greg. Welcome back to our podcast, Perspective. Today, you know, just going to discuss some topics going around worldwide. So, let's just get straight into it. So, recently in Brockton Public Schools, there's been several um, issues going around with school uniforms. That's one. And phone pouches. Um, how, how do y'all, how do you feel about school uniforms? I mean, me, I'm not, I'm not, like, from, uh, BHS. I go to Promise, and we already have a uniform, so I'm mm-hmm. kind of already used to it. Yeah. And my opinion on it is just, I really don't care. I don't care about it. It's just... You don't feel like it's, like, I don't know, holding you, holding you back from being yourself? Or... Do you feel that? I mean, you be me yourself outside the uniform. Me, I don't express myself through clothing. Yeah. So I feel like I could be the same, like inside of a uniform and outside of a uniform. Do you? Like, Do you? I me like, um, I feel like it depends because. We go to promise, so all our uniforms is just literally it's just a polo and some black pants. So like, uh, different people they prefer different things. So like, some people they prefer to be more comfortable in like probably what our uniform is than like a suit and tie or like a skirt and a jacket. So it depends. But me, um, I really don't care about the uniform, so I'm I'm fine with it. Well, uh, like. There are people who pull up to school in pajamas and just like, yeah, yeah. I don't. That's a problem. How? Like, how do you? <laughs> I mean, walk outside so, the crib and think that's okay. I know it's like. <laughs> do they? I, I don't know what they're thinking. They just roll out of bed and just go to school. Like, no, Loki. Sometimes it'd be like that some days, but still, it's rare you'll ever catch me, unless it's like a pajama day or something. I'm not going yeah, to school. I'm not going to school in pajamas. But for me, I go to BHS. Obviously, um, I personally don't have a problem with uniforms. Um, but I know for sure there's going to be a lot of people that have a problem with the uniforms. And if if the school doesn't lose a lot of students next year, then there's going to be a lot of students getting sent home, you know, for that stuff. But really, honestly, it's not that big of a deal. It's just like a it's just a polo, button up. And some pants or shirts or shorts. So like, that's not really a big deal for me. But the big deal for me is those. Uh, I don't know. If, I assume you've heard. You know the phone pouches. Yeah. That they're planning on doing. Like, I mean, I can understand why. See, me personally, I'm not. I don't live at, at school. I don't rely on my phone 24/7. Like, I can easily go through a class without worrying about my phone because I I have self-control but some people obviously don't that's why we're in the scenario now but it's it's honestly really stupid because say like you know you're in school and then and then you um your dad or one of your loved ones are in the hospital or something and they're not gonna let you answer the phone so you can talk about that it's it's honestly just really really stupid but you know how you, how you feel about that? I mean, I'm the same way. I don't be on my phone that much at all. Like, even if I'm like, even if during the day, like I'm allowed to be on it, I'm not. I'm not on it a lot of the time. So, and then, but I feel like having your phone on you just brings a sense of like safety. Rather than it being locked up in like a pouch and like, or like having it be held at like the front desk or something like that. So you think it brings like more comfortability? Yeah, to a lot of people. I feel like. I feel like it could bring reassurance to a lot of people yeah. that tend to, you know, worry, oh my god, yeah. where's my phone? Where's my phone? So, you know, without the pouches, they'll be like, oh, my phone's right here. But with the pouches you know that's gonna be a problem honestly i think they because all right so we come from promise and we're at promise they talk about how powerful phones can be and stuff like that so i think they should use phones in the learning environment instead of just taking them away like use them for something good like 
use the phones to teach a lesson or something instead of like the school paying a bunch of money for like some computers when you can every student comes with a phone every day so Honestly, yeah the problem with that is just the the majority just don't follow by that rule like right. a lot of them are just on and, TikTok mo- and right. most of the time it's not even Something that else. hard of a rule to follow like mm-hmm. the the thing that you really need the most is just self-control and obviously lots of people don't have that and it's kind of sad in this day and age because just the growing rate you know of technology as a whole ever since you know pandemic when we all had to be locked inside and all we could really do was you know be on our phones or you know play video games or stuff like that and that i think that plays a a huge factor and why we're in this scenario today because coming coming out of a uh, pandemic you know kids had you know terrible social interact interaction skills because you know they're all used to just staying you know behind a computer or whatever um terrible in- social interaction skills um very attached to their um phones and obviously that continued into today which is you know as i said before why we have i believe why we have these phone pouches um but it's i mean yeah it's just the yeah and i feel like that can also like that that plays a huge role in like uh social media cuz throughout those the, throughout the pandemic everybody was they were locked inside yeah so everybody's on social media that stuff m- the main thing everybody's doing you know just scrolling through social media doing all the stuff so like with that time everybody everybody's going to be on social media it's going so at some point it's going to get carried away and i think we've gotten carried away with social media like everybody's everybody's like trying to have their own lifestyle on social media and everybody's trying to like fake things on social media and stuff like that they want to like be somebody else instead of who they actually are yeah because you know they they want that attention yeah and you know i i admit i'll admit myself you know I, sometimes you know i do it for my attention mm-hmm. um and it's 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 kind of sad seeing how people act this way just because it's it's a common thing now um and we've learned that you know oh we have to be this way or whatever um but in reality we should all just you know be ourselves and because that's what makes us all different and that's what makes us you know unique and a whole because if we're if we're all just the same you know that's just straight up boring so it's good to have these different characteristics it's good to be yourself and go and track them back to that you know social um t- tracking back to that school uniform thing you know it's good to be yourself and express yourself through your clothes even though obviously you know you said you don't um you don't do that um but you know some people do uh, i personally don't really think i do but yeah it's just yeah man all right so let me ask you this do you think like <clears throat> do you think like social media and not really social media but technology controls us humans I feel like event. I feel like we're getting there. I feel like we're getting there. Um, uh, it's def. It's taking a huge toll on our brains. Um, and I, 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 I can see in a few in a few years, you know, we're gonna be um, definitely gonna ha- have like robots oh, that sure. are gonna. Sure. That going, you know. That is a crazy prediction. Yo, I, I'm I'm calling what? it right now. That is wild. Like Twenty fifty six. What? I agree with Mark, bro. Twenty fifty six. We're gonna have a robot. Go on social media right now. You see AI's doing all these things. AI's creating their own music, pictures. Like go. You can literally everything. talk to AI's. Literally. And they'll, for the most part, talk like, you know, actual humans. So. That's just the first step, and I, what I guarantee is going to be full-on robots or, oh. you know, androids or something that can take the appearance of real people. We basically have it now. Like, you... Oh, I need to think of an example. Um, Like, you know those little, like, floor cleaners, the vacuum things that move on its own? Yeah, the robot? It's like that, yeah. It's like that. Just give it, like, put Siri inside of it. That's a robot right there. <laughs> it's a rat. Like, I mean, shoot, he's not lying. It's exactly. We're gonna have robots. Too. They're going to. They're they might take over. 
It's bad. We can't let that happen, though. But, um, you know, y'all, thank you. Thank you for joining me. Everyone watching at home, listening, thank you. And, of course, you know where to find us next week. See you later.